Hi, God bless you. Jesus loves you. You have been chosen to be free and who the Son sets free is free indeed. Please share this message. This is a message from the Lord for every single Freemason walking the earth. And it's a message to be seen by every single person that the Lord will reveal this message to who has had their life negatively affected by one or more Freemasons. I, Paul David Rook, am nothing without Christ. I have surrendered my entire life to my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And the Lord is now using me to speak his words into both individuals' lives and with this message that the Lord our God spoke through me around an hour ago. The Lord is using me in this most profound way and I give God all the glory, all the praise and all the honour. It is not I that lives, but it is Christ that lives in me. Jesus Christ is the author and the finisher of my faith and of your faith and the faith of every single person. It is Christ that chooses us. We do not choose Christ. We are saved by the grace of God, not by works. So none of us can boast about it. And the wrath of God, the judgment of God is coming upon the earth. What is it that the Lord detests? There are six things that the Lord hates. No, seven things he detests. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that kill the innocent, a heart that plots evil, feet that race to do wrong, a false witness who pours out lies, a person who sows discord in a family. Before I play this recorded audio message from the Lord, I'm just going to share this into a few places.
I'm just sharing this message to quite a few people and into a few groups. So before I share this message, all glory, praise and honour to God. If you know any Freemasons yourself, if you have Freemasons in your family, if you're connected to any Freemasons at all, but if you know anyone, this is a message for everyone because every single one of us who aren't Freemasons, we are described by the Freemasons as useless eaters. They all need Jesus. They all need to turn, to repent and to surrender their life to Jesus. And every one of us, we have all been subjected to lies from Freemasons, from NASA. We have all been subjected to lies. So this message, this is a message for everyone, both for Freemasons and for everyone else. Because every single one of us have been subjected to lies and deception throughout our entire life. But praise the Lord, hallelujah, because the Lord our God, he is lifting the lid. Everything done in dark is being brought to light. So please do, please share this message. Just share this message into groups. We have all been subjected to lies and deceptions from Freemasons, the world's largest, what was secret society, the Jesuits. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. I'm just still sharing this message into groups before I play it. All glory, praise and honour to God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
Heavenly Father, I just lift up to you now every person that is watching and listening now under the sound of my voice and every single person, Father, that will come and even, even to watch and listen, even just for a few seconds of this message, Father, every person, whether they're a Freemason or not, Father, every single person, whatever position within society they may be, whether they may be in the police, in social services, in government, working for big tech, big pharma, um, someone, that, someone that is within the church, Father, someone working in social services, the education system, just a, a general member of the public, Father, just every single person. Father, it is written in Matthew 7, 7, ask and you will receive. So Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that you lift the veil and the scales fall from the eyes of every single person that will even see this message just for a few seconds. And Father, I also ask this for every single message that I've been sharing from you, all the wisdom you have given me, everything that I've been sharing on Facebook Live, Father. Thank you for touching every single person's hearts and minds. Thank you for lifting the veil. Thank you for the scales falling from people's eyes. Father, thank you. Thank you for, in the name of Jesus, for giving everyone the eyes to see and the ears to hear, Father. Thank you for setting the captives free. I just give you all the glory, all the praise and all the honour as you are pouring out your Holy Spirit upon all flesh, as you are exposing everything that has been done in dark, that has been now brought to light, as you are destroying and dismantling the powers and principalities of darkness, of evil, the generational curses of strong men. You are exposing Freemasonry secret society for what it is. And we just give you all the glory, all the praise and all the honour, Father. Every single person, every single person that will even watch a few seconds of this message, whether they know me or not, Father, prior people that have been friends of mine in the past, work colleagues, that I've, people I've worked with in the past, people that have worked in the industry, Father, those Freemasons that, that are now being exposed and may this message, Father, may this message be the message that will shake them to their very core. Every single Freemason, this is a message from the Lord our God. And Father, Abba Father, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who formed us, the one who created us, the one who knitted us together in utter seclusion, God Almighty, we just give you all the glory, all the praise and all the honour for what you are doing upon the earth as you are bringing about the most profound exposure of darkness, of evil, of sin that the world has ever seen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. So every, everyone, if you're watching this now, just share this message. If you, if, you, whether, if you know Freemasons personally, share this message to them. But for everyone else in your life, this is a message for every single person because every single one of us has been a victim of lies that have come from the mouths of Freemasons. Every single one of us. So this is a message from the Lord for everyone walking the earth. And we just give God all the glory, all the praise and all the honour. Be prepared. Be prepared because... Because the righteous anger of the Lord, the wrath of the Lord comes through. It, it comes through in some of how the Lord was using me, filled by his spirit to deliver his message. So I just say, be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. All glory, praise and honour to God Almighty. God bless you, Sister Libby Prince. God bless you, Sister Victoria Charrington. God bless you, Sister Kelly Yardley. God bless you, Sister Annie O'Sullivan. God bless you, Sister Maureen Birch. God bless you, Brother Jaco Salome Joubert. God bless you, Brother Martin Dewis. God bless you, Sister Denise Genimenico. God bless you, Sister Nicola Oldworth. God bless you, Sister Julie Burling. All glory, praise and honour to God Almighty. This is a message from the Lord to every Freemason. Repent now as my wrath and my judgment is coming into your life, says the Lord. Heaven. 
heaven's armies. I am the King of kings. I am the Lord of lords. I am the name above all names. And this is my message to every single Freemason walking the earth. Repent now. Every single one of you have been living in sin. I, the Lord your God, have seen every single sin you have ever committed. Every lie that has come from your tongue I have seen. I know all thoughts that you have ever had in your heart and in your mind. Every single one of you that has a love of money, this is the root of all evil. Ever that has taken place. 
armies detest those with a lying tongue. I, the Lord of Heaven's armies, detest murderers. I, the Lord your God, detest those whose hearts plot evil.
nations across the entirety of the earth. Nightmares. Horrifying nightmares. The most vivid nightmares Freemasons have ever had. Now, poor 
breaking every generational curse. I, the Lord of Heaven's armies, are destroying every strongman. Be deceived no more. The world's largest, what was secret society, is a cover for Satan worship. All Freemasons have been serving the God of this world. Satan. Make no mistake about it. There is judgment coming to every Freemason. And there is nothing they can do about it. of life. 
life. I am the true vine. I am the gate. I am the good shepherd. And I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. I am the Alpha and the Omega. My judgment is coming to all Freemasons walking the earth. Repent now. My wrath is coming. The locusts are coming into your life. You have been storing my gold, my riches. Your love of money is a root of all evil. And as the locusts come, as you are stripped bare, as you go into the refiner's fire, it is I, the Lord your God, that will tell you what to do with your money and with your possessions. And there is nothing you can do against it. You have gone against my will long enough, but no more. My will will be done in your life. Yes, you, Freemason, there is nothing you can do about it. Nothing! And through everything that you are going to be sent through, you will be glorifying me the Lord your God. You and your family. There is no escape from my wrath. Repent now. Surrender to me now. Because my wrath and my judgment is coming. For I, the Lord of heaven's armies, has spoken. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give God all the glory, all the praise and all the honour. You have been chosen to be free, watching and listening this now. All glory, praise and honour to God. Isaiah 55, the invitation to the Lord's salvation. From verse 11, it is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to and it will prosper everywhere 
I send it. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please share this message because this message is for every single person. Most people, most people that are out there in the world are not part of the world's largest, what was secret society. But every single one of us has been lied to and has been deceived and has heard from Freemasons. Every single one of us. Let us remember what God has allowed, the sin that God has allowed, the evil that God has allowed, as God has watched and seen every single act of sin. We have all been lied to throughout our entire life. Our parents have been lied to throughout their entire life. Our grandparents have been lied to throughout their entire life. Jesuits, Freemasons, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the most wealthiest people in the world, families of throughout all the generations, NASA, total and utter deception. We have been deceived into thinking and believing that the earth that we live on is a spinning globe that came about because of the Big Bang. Well, the Lord says no more. No more will you be deceived by man. No more will man instill fear in you. Because you, my beloved says the Lord, you will know, have a reverent fear of me. Because the fear of me is the beginning of all wisdom. And says the Lord, I have chosen you. I have called you by name. Greater is the spirit that is in you than the spirit that is in the world. And my spirit... My spirit that I am putting within you and filling you now with my spirit. My spirit guides you into all truth. So now, as I am filling you with my spirit, says the Lord, you will be devouring my word each day. You will surrender everything in your life to me. You will seek my kingdom first and my righteousness and all else will be given unto you. I have lifted you out of the miry clay, says the Lord. You are mine, says the Lord. My hand is mighty upon you. I have anointed your head with oil. I am pouring into your life now my living waters. The flowing living waters from me are cleansing you, are purifying you, are refreshing you into all areas of your dry, barren wastelands. They are becoming flooded by my living waters. The fire the fire, the fire of my spirit is coming upon you now. For I, the Lord of heaven's armies, have spoken. And in this place, I bring peace, says the Lord. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. I have been refining you by fire. I have been purifying you. You have been in the refiner's fire and that refiner's fire has been getting hotter and hotter and hotter. But I, the Lord your God, the one who formed you, who created you, who knitted you together in utter seclusion. The one who has numbered every hair on your head. 
My thoughts for you outnumber the grains of sand on the seashore. And I have been in that fiery furnace with you. And like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, you have not been burnt up because I, the Lord your God, have been in there with you. And you are now coming out of the refiner's fire. I have been preparing you for me to pour into you my glory. Yes, my glory. I am pouring into your life. You have not seen anything yet. Let the tears flow. I have seen every single tear that you have ever shed in in your entire life and I have captured them in my bottle. And because you have sown with tears, you are going to reap with joy. Yes, my joy. For I, the Lord of heaven's armies, have spoken. As I pour out now my spirit upon you now, as I am filling you with my spirit, the fruit of the spirit is yours It is your portion for your life. My joy, my peace, my love, my patience, my forgiveness, my self-control is what I am giving you now and forgiveness. For my beloved sons and daughters who haven't been able to forgive people in your life that have done what you may have seen as being unforgivable, I am now pouring into you now my love, my spirit, and forgiveness that comes through me so that you can now forgive with all your heart that person or those people that you have struggled to forgive. For I, the Lord your God, I am the chain breaker. I am now breaking from you every single remaining generational curse, an ancestral curse that has been upon your life, upon your home, upon your children, upon your family because of sins and iniquities throughout your entire family generational bloodline. My blood, my blood that I shed on the cross for you and for every single member of your family cleanses you and your bloodline of all sins and iniquities. My blood, through your surrender of your life to me, through your faith in me and in me alone, through you surrendering your life to me, for I am the Lord your God. I am the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the name above all names. I am the King of glory. And through your surrender to me, I am breaking all the chains of bondage. Every chain breaks in my name and by my blood. The accuser, Satan, has no more legal right over you because I, the Lord, your God, have spoken. I am now destroying the remaining strong men that have been upon your life. Without you realising it, I am now smashing the teeth of my enemies. I am crushing them under my mighty hand. Blazing coals are coming forth from me now as I open the heavens. I am breaking from you, says the Lord. Every final chain of bondage that has been upon your life. Every iron bar. Every bronze bars. I am smashing now. In my name. By my blood. For my glory. Says I. The Lord of heaven's armies. The demons flee in my name. The powers and principalities and the curses are destroyed in my name. My glory is coming upon the earth. Yes, my glory is coming upon the earth. And I have chosen you to be my glory carrier. You are my hands and feet. I have put my spirit within you. And the spirit that is within you is greater than the spirit that is within the world. You can do all things through me. The Lord your God who gives you strength. 
I have given you all authority to trample upon lions and cobras, to crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. And your eyes haven't seen, your ears haven't heard, and your mind hasn't conceived what I, the Lord your God, have got planned for you who love me. You, my beloved sons and daughters, you are now truly beginning to comprehend that I, the Lord your God, work in all things for good because you love me and you live according to my purpose for you. My way is perfect. I straighten out all your crooked paths. And my beloved children across the entire earth are learning and understanding more and more and more that I, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the name above all names. I work in all things for good. To me, the dark is the same as light. Everything that has ever happened, everything that is happening and everything that is to come is for my divine purpose and plan for you and all my beloved sons and daughters. Before I created the heavens and the earth, I chose you. Yes, I chose you. I chose to form you, to create you, to knit you together in your mother's womb in utter seclusion. And I chose to give you my strength. I chose to bring you forth on the day you were born into the family you were born into. Because I chose you to be my glory carrier. I chose you. To be my disciple. I chose you. Because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. In my image. You are chosen and not forsaken. My hand is mighty upon you. I have anointed your head with oil. You and your family. I am bringing the dead back to life. What seems impossible with man is possible with me. My miracles, my signs and my wonders are pouring into the earth, into your life and into hundreds of millions of people around the world. For I, the Lord, have spoken. I laugh. At my enemies, I scoff at the rulers. I look down from heaven and I laugh. This, what you are living through, is my plan. It's my agenda. It's my exposure of sin. Everything that has been done in dark is being brought to light. I am the king of glory.
for all my beloved sons and daughters now hearing my message for all those who have a true open heart who are truly surrendered to me I am now pouring into you every spiritual gift yes every spiritual gift I am pouring into you right now From this moment forward, through me pouring into you greater discernment than you have ever had before, you will never again be deceived by man, whether that is a teacher an evangelist, a prophet, a non-believer, anyone ever in your life, you will never again be deceived because as lying words begin to come into your ear gates and into your eye gates, my spirit upon you will convict you and say, no, this is not a message from me. Turn it off. Do not share it. There are many people out there giving messages of doom, of gloom, of darkness, of apocalypse. The apocalypse is happening in the spiritual realm because I am the Lord of heaven's armies, and I am roaring. Blazing coal is coming from me and from my fearfully and wonderfully made sons and daughters, you. I am putting my fire upon your tongue so as you Speak my word in your prayers. The demons will flee. Demonic strongholds are being demolished. Strong men are going to be destroyed. You, my beloved, are going to be taking the heads of Goliath. For I, the Lord your God, the Lord of heaven's armies has spoken. And in this place, I bring peace. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. The peace I give you is a gift the world cannot give you. My peace surpasses all understanding. And it guards your hearts and your minds in me, Christ Jesus. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. Remember, my beloved sons and daughters, greater is the spirit that is in you than the spirit that is in the world. You resist the devil and he flees from you. 
you put on the full armour of God so that you can take a stand against the devil's schemes. I have made a table for you in the presence of your enemies, but you have no fear because you have all the authority from me to crush every single one of your enemies. Be prepared for me to lead you into floods of tears as I move in your life like never before. I have called you by name and you are chosen and not forsaken. And you can do all things through me who gives you strength. For I, the Lord your God, the Lord of heaven's armies, has spoken. 